So welcome, my name is Dr. Jason Martin. I'm one of the chemistry faculty here at the campus of National Park College. I'm gonna spend a little time here today just kind of introducing to you some of the new labs that have been added to the lab science building. We are standing right now in the new chemistry lab and I'm gonna kind of take you all around the lab to just kind of show you the lab itself, as well as some of the equipment and instrumentation that our students will get exposed to firsthand when they come here on campus to major in a chemistry degree that we are partnering with SAU to obtain four-year degree here on campus. So they'll get their first two years with National Park College and the last two years with SAU here on campus. So what we have here is what we call a snorkel. A snorkel is basically an apparatus that evacuates the fumes within a certain region. This is going to be available to our students and you can see that you can adjust it as needed for whatever the experiment might be uh, performed at the time. And students can essentially have the opportunity to do all of their lab work in this lab at the bench top, which is a nice addition or feature for this lab. Most labs, especially organic chemistry labs or other upper division chemistry labs, you'll find that they will have several of these fume hoods, which you see lined along the wall here. We have four of them in this new lab. You'll find several of these guys lined around the perimeter of a lab. The problem with that is that students working out of the fume hoods have their backs all turned towards the instructor. Whereas here with this feature, Students can be working to their bench top and the instructor can be scrolling around the room or browsing around the room and monitoring everything a student is doing. So this is a nice feature for this lab to allow students to work, do all of their work at the bench top. So this is a rotovapor distiller. We call it Rotovap for short. We have two of these available in this lab. These are basically a lab version of a still, which probably most of us here in Arkansas are familiar with that term. And what this does is allow a student to very rapidly remove organic solvents from the reaction mixture. So from their bench top, they'll make some sort of chemical product. They'll bring it over here to the rotovap, and very quickly they can essentially remove all the solvent and what's left behind in this flask here will be their chemical product. So in this new chemistry lab that was added to the lab science building, we have several pieces of instrumentation on this back wall in the lab that's going to give our students here at National Park College first-hand experience with modern scientific instrumentation that you may or may not get at a larger university. The first piece that I want to talk about here is what we call an FTI or for short, or Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. And this is one of several instruments that allows a student to verify or even identify a chemical substance or product they've made at their bench top. So this is one of several that they can use to help them in that process. And so they get that experience firsthand of how to identify something they've made in the lab, which when you do that in the lab with hands-on experience, it really kind of turns on the light bulb and allows them to connect hands-on experience with their learning and lecture in theory. Another piece that we want to add to this is what we call a ultraviolet visible spectrometer or UV viz for short. Again, this guy allows us to further characterize a substance that we may have made in the lab as a student. And so this is going to give students further practice with modern chemical instrumentation that you would find in places like industrial labs, pharmaceutical labs, or even things like crime labs. So they'll give them firsthand experience here so that when they leave and graduate with an NPC SAU degree, they will have hands-on experience that will prepare them for the job market. Or if they're going on to graduate school or medical school, they'll also have that in their background. One last piece, but certainly not least, is the big boy, what we call NMR, or Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. So this allows a student to identify the structure of a chemical compound. So when they've made something in the lab, they can use this in addition to UV viz and FDIR to fully characterize that substance and know exactly what they made. This guy, this NMR, even though it's called nuclear magnetic resonance, there's nothing nuclear in relationship to radiation happening. 
But this is actually the predecessor to what we call MRI, which you're probably familiar with, magnetic resonance imaging. So the much larger version, the MRI, is a very close relative to this NMR. The only difference here is we spin our chemical sample, whereas MRI, you spin the magnet around the patient. So what we have here at this station is another addition to our instrumentation available to our students to get, again, further hands-on experience in the scientific lab. And we have what we call gas chromatographs, or GCs for short. And this just allows them to further identify some of the substances or products they'll be making in lab to have that firsthand uh, experience with practical lab technique. And so these GCs are not what we call research grade, but they are definitely very, very adapted to teaching lab. And so this will give students the practical experience so that when they leave here, they can also work with research grade instrumentation as well. So we have here a small sample of some of the glassware setups, the apparatus that our, some of our students will be using for their various courses here on campus, such as organic chemistry, instrumental analysis, physical chemistry, biochemistry. This here is a classic example of an organic apparatus. It's a simple distillation apparatus that basically teaches a student how to, one, use the lab-based glassware, as well as teach them some of the concepts and principles of what we call distillation, a very common process in chemistry. And this other guy here is what we call a separatory funnel, basically allows a student to separate out a chemical mixture. And so again, this is just a small sample of glassware among several pieces that students will be using and getting practice here on the campus of National Park College. And I just want to reemphasize what we're offering here on campus is second to none in the state as far as four year undergraduate chemistry programs are concerned. Well, welcome back. We're here in the new physics and engineering lab here at National Park College. Obviously, it's a new day. As you can see, I'm not in the same clothing as I was with the chemistry lab virtual tour. So I want to welcome you and just say that this is the first time we've had a physics engineering lab that is attached to this building, which is really cool for our students. We have several options coming up that this space will be utilized for. Uh, one aspect that we're using this for is all of our biology and chemistry majors, those who are doing the 2 plus 2 agreement with SAU here on campus, will be using this space for Physics 1 and 2. Likewise, we'll be using this space for all of our engineering majors who are doing a 2 plus 2 agreement, whether they're transferring from here to SAU, U of A in Fayetteville, U of A, uh, Fayetteville has, I think, mechanical engineering, SAU has several engineering options, and likewise, Arkansas Tech University has an agreement where transfer uh, students can transfer from here to there to get their two plus two engineering degrees. So this space that, was being, that has been created is gonna be well utilized for all of those students. So it's gonna be busy, it's gonna be a busy, busy lab. So we're, <clears throat> we're just gonna kind of take a brief moment and let you view this space and realize that yes, we have several outlets hanging from the ceiling. The cool feature about this is these guys can be adjusted as needed, as well as these benches can be adjusted as needed for the instructor, depending on the course they're teaching, whether it be physics or an engineering course. So this lab is well adapted to multiple purposes for those physics engineering classes that will be offered to our students and are currently being offered to our students. I believe Dr. Post is already using this space for some of his classes will continue probably into next semester and beyond. So we would just want to say that we are very excited for all that's going to happen in this space along with the chemistry space that's being created uh, above us. So this guy is in the first floor of the lab science building for the physics and engineering. The chemistry lab, which you've already seen, is in the second floor of lab science. So we're extremely excited and we're looking forward to getting students in here and get to work.